Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you. Uh, my name is Pete Paulus. I'm the Director of Fine Arts here at Byron Hills. Um, it's really my pleasure this evening to welcome you as we come together to celebrate the achievement uh, of our young artists on stage tonight. We'll induct an impressive group of young people into the National Art Honor Society. These inductees have demonstrated scholarship in art, academic excellence, outstanding character, and service to their community. Before we begin, I would like to take a brief moment to acknowledge all of the art teachers in our district, K through 12, that have contributed to the artwork that the students have been creating and inspiring them and leading them as they develop their artistic skills. And at this time, without any further ado, I'd like to welcome Reese Ertel to the podium. Hi everyone, my name is Reese Ertel. I'm a senior at Barham Hills, and I'm the president of the National Art Honor Society. Thank you so much to everyone who could be here tonight, and welcome. Some of you may be wondering, what even is NAHS? Your kids probably told you, you have to be at the school at 7 p.m. on Thursday night, and that's all you may know. Well, um, in 1978, the National Art Education Association began the National Art Honor Society program to inspire and recognize students who have shown an outstanding ability and interest in art. The Byron Hills chapter of the National Art Honor Society was formed in 2018. It's dedicated to providing students with opportunities to broaden their knowledge of the arts and use their talents to serve the community at school and in the local area. This year, we had a record number of NAHS students, 40 members aging from 15 to 18. None of this would be possible without our teacher supervisors, Ms. Menashe and Ms. Garland. Their dedication to the society and the arts in general is inspiring, and they are the backbone of NAHS. Everyone, please give a round of applause for Ms. Menashe and Ms. Garland. I'd also like to thank Mr. Pollux, Director of Fine Arts, for continuing to help and advance the art programs at our school. And finally, thank you to all of our administrators, teachers, and parents for helping to encourage and support the arts. Throughout the year, NAHS members participate and complete a series of projects that help to demonstrate the value of art and use art to bring our community together. In the fall, we began our first project, pumpkin painting. On a sunny day, on a sunny day members of the society went outside and we all painted pumpkins together, which we then sold to other students and teachers to raise money for the society. In November, we then paired up with another student-run school association, the Student Serving Soldiers Club. The NAHS created Thanksgiving-inspired cards, thanking the soldiers for all that they have done for our country. Additionally, members of the society had the opportunity to submit their artwork to the 2022 National Art Honor Society Jury Exhibition. This national show received 1,665 submissions and accepted 199 works. Two students from the Byron NAHS were accepted into this show. My piece, Poppy, was chosen, as well as another NAHS senior, Eva Miano, for her piece, Perfectionist. As the weather got colder, we wanted to raise the spirits in the school. We created kindness rocks, little stones that had positive sayings and drawings to place around the school. One of our biggest events this year came around February. For Valentine's Day, the NAHS organized, created, and executed the Valentino Grant Project. In honor of spreading love and happiness, members of the society created and submitted Valentine-esque drawings, graphic designs, and photographs that would be included in the cards. They were then turned into a digital format, which everyone at our school could submit a Valentine that would be emailed on their behalf to their friends, peers, or teachers. This year, we sent out over 300 digital Valentinograms to people across our school. This was an awesome way to bring the school together through art and to spread the love throughout the school during Valentine's Day time. All of these inductees have worked hard throughout the year, completing projects, volunteering, and participating monthly in the NAHS. Each and every one of you helped bring the school community together through the power of art. The power of art is what the National Art Honor Society is really all about to me. 
we are able to enhance our school, express ourselves, and be recognized as young artists. Especially in a school where so much value is placed on academics, students participating in art classes, classes choosing photo or graphic design over another academic elective is so significant. Every day, I go to my AP Studio art class, and it feels like I can take a deep breath, a breath of relief. No matter if I was stressed about my math test the period before, once I take out my colored pencils and start painting, I instantly feel calm. The National Art Honor Society allows students to develop their skills, think creative, creatively, and participate in a group where everyone shares the same passion. So congratulations to everyone who will be inducted tonight. This is an amazing accomplishment. Hang with me a little bit longer. I'm going to speak a little bit about my art and my artistic experience throughout high school. I've always had a passion for drawing and painting, but as I began to take more art classes throughout high school, this passion has really grown and solidified. Currently, I'm in my second year of AP Studio Art. I focus a lot of my pieces on portraits, attempting to capture extreme detail, revealing the personality of my subjects. The art classes at the high school, specifically AP Studio Art, has given me opportunity to try new mediums and expand my knowledge as a young artist. Through the National Art Honor Society and AP Studio Art, as well as all the other art classes at our, at our high school, my artwork has re reached past the boundaries of Byron Hills and has now been exposed to the outside world. In addition to my piece being selected for the NAHS jury show, it was also chosen for the Young Artist Exhibit in the Katona Museum of Art, which was the first time my art artwork has ever been displayed in a museum and an incredible opportunity. This piece is also being exhibited in a national educational journal, Catholic. These experiences have been absolutely surreal and wouldn't have been possible without the art programs and NAHS at our school. So now please welcome up treasurer of NAHS, Byron Hill Senior, Mariana Vitaj. I just want to thank you all again for coming here tonight to support the National Art Honor Society. Uh, now that President Reese spoke about her amazing artwork, I'd like to tell you a bit about my journey. Ever since middle school, art has been a huge part of my life. From taking part in art classes through the school and partaking uh, in creating murals, pottery, and other art-related pieces for the middle and high school, I have always incorporated art into my life in some way. Art has helped me express myself in a way that nothing else has before. It allows me to dive deeper into my thoughts and feelings to make pieces that are open for interpretation, which is my favorite part. Although I did have a concentration and a central idea for my pieces, I feel as though many of them are relatable in so many different ways. For my sustained investigation, I focused on telling the story of immigrants. Having immigrant parents, I grew up hearing all kinds of wild stories, stories of horror, growth, rejection, failure, and moments of success and happiness as well. My pieces aim to portray ideas and situations many immigrants in general can feel. These can include stress, rejection, feeling detached from the rest of society, the constant feeling of being watched, and many other experiences. I use different mediums to give each of my pieces a different perspective, and I use figures instead of actual people to demonstrate how immigrants feel like they don't fit in with everyone else. I also use smoke in many of my pieces to symbolize the uses of unhealthy coping mechanisms, which many immigrants unfortunately resort to when deal dealing with difficult times. As I mentioned before, the goal of my sustained investigation is to tell the experiences of an immigrant in a creative, unique way. I wanna thank my teacher, Mrs. Carlin, for helping me create all these unique pieces, and I thank you all for giving me the chance to present my work. Now I invite all the members of Na the National Art Honor Society who are getting inducted to state the pledge. Please repeat after me. I will in my life, I will in my life, to the best of my ability through my talents in art, to the best of my ability through my talents in art, help to create a better world for myself, help to create a better world for myself, for humankind, for humankind, and for all living things. And for all living things.
Now that you've completed the pledge, it is now time to get inducted. Good evening. I would like to begin by recognizing previously inducted members who have continued in their participation in the National Art Honor Society. Reese Ertel. Mariana Vitaj. <laughs> Sophia Maharis. <laughs> Eva Mian. <laughs> so now for new members, please hold your applause till the end because there's a lot of people. And I apologize if I mispronounce the words. Because I probably would. Samantha Abraham. <laughs> Elizabeth Albright. Brooke Altman. Ayaka Aman. Lily Foster. Carissa Chung. Olivia Corpina. Alana Curley. Rohini Das. Gemma Dean. Abby Eichelbeck. Alaska Fairbanks. Chloe Fang. Samantha Gershi. Samantha Lusky. Lily Kirsch. Ella Jaborski. Erica Cartoonin. Casey Marionette. Lindsay Miller. Jonathan Heron. Lila Graff. Avery Talbot. Abby Yala. Olivia Soda.
now let's give everyone a big round. As president of the NAHS, I charge our new members to continue to act with integrity, keep your promises, respect our individual differences, embrace teamwork, and encourage artistic curiosity wherever you find it. We hope this induction will be just one facet of your lifelong commitment to the arts. Everyone, let's give another round of applause to our inductees. This year, the National Art Honor Society wants to take the opportunity to induct Mrs. Eshoo as a member because of her devotion to the arts. Mrs. Eshoo has been an English teacher for 12 years at Byron Hills. If you have had Mrs. Eshoo as a teacher, you know how evident it is that not only is she dedicated to her students and literature, but also including all types of art in her curriculum. This year, I've been lucky enough to have Mrs. Eshoo as a teacher for the class Perspectives in Literature. This class is a double period advanced English class developed around a series of thematic units that tie in film, visual arts, current events, and more into literature. Mrs. Eshoo's perspective, Perspectives class paired up with the Studio Art class to collaborate on a poem project for the art show in the winter. The AP Studio Art students created paintings which the Perspective students wrote poems about. In addition, Mrs. Eshoo leads class discussions focusing on famous paintings, artwork from ancient civilizations, many different films that are all included into the curriculum. Mrs. Escher seamlessly integrates arts into her everyday lessons, creating an even more engaging experience for all of her students. Mrs. Escher's passion for teaching and the arts is felt by every student, which we want to honor by her induction into the National Art Honor Society. Please welcome up Mrs. Escher. I feel very honored to have been chosen to join the ranks of such a talented and distinguished group of people. Um, 22 years ago, I taught at a public arts school in New York City that was in the process of phasing out its visual art program. Uh, the seniors I had that year were the last students to have been accepted to the school as visual artists and the last who would graduate with that major, as they called it. These students had come from every corner of every borough, and for some of them, art was the one subject in which they succeeded, and for many, the only reason why they came to school. These kids felt like a dying breed when the school cut their program. These former students, who are now 40 years old, uh, would have thrived here at Byron. The array of electives offered, ceramics, metal smithing, drawing and painting, film, graphic design, photography, it's, it's amazing, they're, they're all so cool. Uh, the teachers are incredibly dedicated. When I see the work that Amy Menashe puts into the Arts Yearbook, which is a work of art itself every year. I am in awe of her attention to detail and patience in teaching yearbook design. In Amy's and my journalism class, I see how hard it can be to get the students to learn graphic design in order to create yearbook spreads. And I can't imagine how Herculean the task it is to get students feeling comfortable in different types of media. My perspectives class that Reese talked about um, collaborates with Jane Carlin uh, in her AP art class. It was actually a tradition that's started by Dwayne Smith when he taught perspectives. Uh, and the works of art that my students' poems um, are, are paired with are absolutely incredible. They're poignant, provocative, triumphant. It's, I, I'm in awe of, of them. Um, and it's so clear that these students not only need to express themselves visually, uh, but that they've been given the foundation over the years and then the agency with which to do so. One of the joys of teaching a double period English class like Perspectives is that I have the time to use art as a teaching tool. Uh, whether we look at literature through the lens of ancient Persian art or postmodernism, um, it's, it's really fun to be able to include that multidimensionality uh, into what we're learning. The students who are so inclined um, are allowed to include art in their final portfolios, and many do, including a couple who are here today, Eva and Reese, and, uh, and some others from the past. Um, giving the students this freedom actually breathes fresh air into my curriculum in a way. It's a little selfish because I feel like I get so much more from them in some ways than they get from me when I, when I see their art. Uh, it energizes the students, whether they're creating art or just appreciating it. 
the more ways in which we as a school can use art as a, in a cross-curricular way, the more we will all benefit. Um, I believe that with all my heart. Uh, so members of the National Art Honor Society, new and old, congratulations. And uh, please continue being the torch bearers for the arts. The school, community, and world all need your vision and creativity to bring light to the darkness. So thank you. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our program this evening. Um, students, congratulations. We are so proud of you, and I know moms and dads out there are, feel the same exact way. Um, I hope that you were able to encourage them to continue to explore their creativity and, uh, and really, really encourage that, uh, the joy in art making. Um, before we depart, I would like to uh, just draw your attention to the AP Art Show, which is actually scheduled for April 6th and April 7th. We do have a community reception on April 6th from 7 to 8.30, and we invite all of you to attend. On your way out this evening, you might stop in the hallway because you'll see sort of a video of the art show that happened a month or two ago here at the high school, as well as artwork displayed in the hallway, and it's just awesome to see in person. Um, one last thing is I do want to acknowledge our advisors once again, Ms. Jane Carlin, Ms. Amy Menashe, for an incredible job leading. We have a gigantic group of students being inducted into this era, uh, the National Art Honor Society this year, which is a real tribute to our teachers and to the strong program we have. So congratulations to everybody. Of course, Ms. Captain Eshu, we're so glad that you've been so supportive and so appreciative of all that work. So, um, with that being said, congratulations everyone, have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you at the next art show.